Welcome to SDX, I'm Ricardo, and this is week zero. This is the baseline. These are the first measurements we're gonna look at and see actually what they mean. We're gonna look at the Rempo app, and with this app, we collected some data via the smart body scale and the smart measurements lint. And we're just gonna look at the numbers and see what it means. So in first glance, you see a lot of numbers here, but what does it actually mean? Is it good? Is it bad? Um, as you can see, they are color coded. So orange means like average to bad. Uh, red is red flag. Green seems good. Um, so when we look at weights, like my length is 180 centimeters. So orange means overweight. So for my length, I'm quite heavy. So overweight. So if I don't watch out, I'm going into the category of obesity. And yeah, so that's not, not good. And we need to go below 81 kilo to be normal. So that's going to be a challenge. Um, look at BMI, same kind of index, um, almost in the obesity region. So we have to get those number below 25. And now the red flag, body fat, that's like on the obesity level, right? Not way over, but it's not good. So I have to watch my fats, my intake, stop the harm, hamburgers, I mean, the fries and stuff like that. It's a sad life, but we have to do it. Fat free body weight. It's muscle in addition to fat in a major component of body weight. Other than that, it doesn't say anything. Next one, subcutaneous fat. So this is the fat that's stored in the skin, right? And it's on the high side. And this is the one that we have to get rid of. Visceral fat is a dangerous one. That's like the, the fat in the organs. But it seems to acceptable level. We should still look uh, look outward a little bit, so we can get those numbers a bit down as well. So body water seems normal, almost towards the low side. So we have to drink lots of fluid, lots of water to keep it on a good level. Um, next. Skeletal muscle. Don't know what it means actually. The ratio of muscle involved in the mechanical system of our limbs and other parts of the body. So it seems like the joints, the parts. Yeah, that's it. Muscle mass is the only thing that seems good. The total muscle weight, including skeletal muscle, cardiac, and smooth muscle. Seems like I have enough of it. Don't think so. So we're going to still train as well. And maybe this goes up or stays the same. Let's see. Bone mass. Looks good. Protein, same. BMR. Basal me metabolic rate. In an inactive state, this is the minimum necessary energy needed. Seems average. Well, seems good then, right? Hmm. Uh, metabolic age. So I think this means like body age is an indicator to assess physical condition. I think what it does is like takes all the numbers and see like what would be your, uh, your age based on these number. So I'm 38 and this says 42. So that means like four years older. So it would be nice if we can see this going back to 38 or even lower. That means like my fitness is better than what is normal for my, for my age, right? So now it's the other way around. My fitness is worse for my age, right? It's not in a good place for my age. All right, so these are the numbers. 
and i think in the next weeks i think we will basically look more into the change in weight bmi body fat and the metabolic age support i think for something that will change a bit later but for the first weeks we're probably going to look at these three the top ones so i expect there to be the most changing all right other than that we also measured the circumference this was the last time it doesn't show you actually how i look uh, in the model but um I think this will change like over time. There won't be like immediate big changes, but we'll see at the next week like what are the actual uh, differences. I'm also not going to measure this like every day, but uh, like two times a week. I think that's enough uh, to measure these kind of measurements. All right. So that was interesting and more interesting will be next week. Well, now these numbers will change. This was SDX. See you next time.